What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another installment on this 1940 Chevrolet Gasser project. I know it's been a while. Uh, a lot of stuff's come up, and I kind of got into a groove to where I was just working on this thing, and I wasn't recording very much stuff. I was just nose on the grindstone trying to get done what I could get done. Uh, stick around, and I'll show you what we've been working on. All right, so the clip that you guys just seen was me taking the braking clutch pedal and I cut two inches out of the pedals and then also welded a plate onto both our master cylinder onto uh, so we get ready to put it in the car. So I got it all put in, got the tabs welded up and the master cylinder and the clutch pedals bolted in and I'll go ahead and show you guys what they end up looking like right now. So this is what the clutch and the brake pedal end up looking like bolted into the car. Um, we're gonna we're gonna trim up on the brake pedal a little bit and probably cut it somewhere in here and move this pedal back. And then we're gonna take our firewall eventually and we're gonna make it come where it's gonna go behind this part of the pedal and come down where you won't see that part. You'll just see this part of the pedal coming through the floor. But there it is, turned out pretty good. We got our master cylinder back here bolted in. So we're ready for brake lines. The brake pedal and the clutch pedal in. I also done a bunch of work on the roll cage, getting all that in. So just hang around and I'll show you what I got going on here. I'm gonna start up front and kind of work my way back towards the back. So up here in the front, my dad put together the radiator support and also our gas tank support where we have it mounted up on the frame. So this radiator, I've seen a few people in the gassers run this radiator. It's actually out of like a 2000 model Honda Civic. I can think of three offhand that are using this radiator and it seems to do okay for them. So I figured why not? So up here, you can see I got the down bars coming from the inside of the car to the out up here. These pieces, believe it or not, are actually the main hoop that we got with the original row cage kit. I was able to cut the main hoop in half and then repurpose these bars to where they're coming up here through the firewall. They're not welded in right now. They're just tacked in place because we're going to take the body off of the frame and go ahead and finish weld everything up. So moving in here, we was able to get the new, new hoop and the new uh, roof hoop in the car and everything fits way, way better, way more tight. It comes down meets our outriggers and just looks pretty pretty dang good in my opinion i was really pleased on how all this turned out it did take me a while on some of these bars to notch uh, but i'm pretty pleased for my first ever roll cage um it's it's pretty sweet all right in the back of the car my last video i was talking about how i was going to make the mount for the panner bar which i did i got it in here it's mocked up it's not tacked in, not welded, nothing, but that's roughly how it's gonna be. I just got, I'm gonna have to eventually cut out this bar here, and I, I'm really not sure if I'm gonna repurpose that bar and move it forwards or aft in the car and weld it back in and use it for my top of my shock mount. Um, there's still a lot of debate for what we're gonna do exactly with the shock mounts. I did order, I did order these shock mounts right here which are totally adjustable up and down and was thinking about putting them here in front of the rear end and then putting a bar maybe across from the back of the down bars to mount the top of the shocks too. But like I said, I'm still not a hundred percent on what I'm going to do back here yet. I still have to get those, some sort of shock mount back here 
And also we're gonna have to have some mounts for our wheelie bars to attach to on the bottom. So I'm kind of hoping maybe we can repurpose and kind of kill two birds with one stone and use those shock mounts and also maybe weld a tab on the bottom, like a flat plate to put our wheelie bars attached to. So the original roll cage kit came with the door bars to put in the door here, but with getting the new hoop and moving stuff around in the car, the door bars that we actually got ended up being too short. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually gonna copy the notch of the bar that they sent, and then I'm gonna transfer that onto a new bar and go ahead and notch that bar and cut it to length and try to get it fitted in the car. Just like that, I was able to use some of this craft paper and I've made me a template that I can use to make my new notch on my new bar. So here we go. All right, y'all, got my bar cut. I'm gonna go ahead and try to make my notch for this part of the bar. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set my bar up here and I'm gonna make my line where I want the bar to be. And I'm gonna use my chop saw to make this notch right here. So I wanna take this, this, line and then draw it out where my mouth needs to be and go ahead and cut my notch and test my fit. All right, so I went ahead and cut my Cut my notch in my bar, and surprisingly, that was the first time that I used the chop saw to make a notch, and it turned out pretty good, pretty satisfied with that bar. So now it's just gonna be rinse and repeat to uh, get the one over here on this side. All right, guys, just like that, I got this bar fitted up. This one here, it fought me a little bit. This is not anywhere close to fitting as nice as the other side, but nonetheless, it's in there, and hopefully by the time I get all this welded up, nobody will ever be able to tell. So, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Right now, I just have the dash bar in there. It's not tacked. Just kind of hanging out right there, because I'm not exactly sure where the bottom of the dash is gonna be. Um, that's probably pretty close, but we're going to wait to tack that in at a later date. I did tack the bar back here in, so that's good. The only bars right now that are loose are both this door bar, that door bar, and then the dash bar. But everything else is tacked no i'll take that back also these bars up here are floating too because we're going to pull them out and lift off the body but other than that the cage is pretty well wrapped up it's starting to it's starting to really look like a race car it's it's kind of impressive now when you open the shop door and come in here and it's like all right we got something going on All right, here we go, guys. We put a seat in here just to kind of see, get a little bit more idea what's going on. Uh, we've got these seat brackets made. Uh, we're gonna put some holes in there, kind of save a little weight, but for the most part, that's where the position's gonna be of the seat. And it looks pretty sweet. Got the pedals, of course, cage, of course, daggum race car. 
All right, so I guess that's gonna be it for my update video. Uh, it's just one thing at a time. We'll slowly start doing a little more to this thing. I guess I would really like to start working on the headers next. Um, we're either gonna do that or we're gonna start working on maybe putting some of the braces in the floor that we're gonna hang our tin work on before we actually pull the body off. Um, but other than that, just hang around guys. If you like this video, smash the like button. If you like cool old gassers and wanna keep up with the build, give me a sub. Thanks guys, I appreciate everything.